Hi everyone. I'm gonna get right into it. So whatever the cards want to say. I've been channeling the same energy group for about the past week and a half, and I'm I'm gonna keep channeling that energy group. I'm gonna keep channeling that storyline, but I do want to to do some other readings as well, just to make sure that I'm channeling a few different energy groups here, so that everyone on the channel gets something. So I'll I'll keep doing the the kind of readings I've been doing, keep continuing that storyline, and then I'll add a few um, in-depth readings, maybe some shorter readings. So, you know, channeling a few different energy groups. Some of these readings will be for you. Some of them will resonate. They'll be, you know, your energy group, and, and others might not be. So just take the readings that resonate. Leave the ones that don't. This may or may not be your story. So let's get right into it. King of Cups, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune... The Ten of Cups. This is a man, what I'm seeing here right off the bat is, this is a man who's had a lot of integrity. This is a King of Cups. This could be a water sign. I feel like this is a man who's, I feel like this man has been single for a long time. Like, I feel like for whoever I'm reading, this man hasn't really, um, I feel like he's been very isolated like maybe he doesn't go out a lot like maybe he's not very social or it's like he doesn't really have a whole lot of options right now he might be really picky when it comes to relationships he might have had a lot of um just failed relationships in the past or just not really being compatible with most people just not really you know he might have joined dating sites and just couldn't really find anything that really resonated with him but I feel like for this energy group that I'm reading I feel like this king of cups um, I feel like he, like with the hermit here, I just feel like he's been alone for a long time. I think this is somebody who's just kind of like, am I ever going to find my match? Am I ever, you know, this man's wondering, am I ever going to find my person? Is there, is there anyone out there for me? Is there anyone that's going to ever match my energy? Like, I think this is a really emotionally available man too. This man that I'm picking up on, he's very, um, he's emotionally available. He's emotionally mature. He's very grounded. He's very wise, very logical. I feel like this man has a lot of integrity too. I feel like this man that I'm channeling, it's like he does the right thing even when nobody's looking. Like I think that he does feel very alone. He feels like he's kind of been in hermit mode for a while. Um, it might partially be by choice too. He might just, you know, not really be clicking with anybody. So he might kind of choose just to maybe he's like, you know, it's less drama. I'm just going to stay by myself. But I feel like this man has been ready for a relationship. This is, this is, you know, like I said, this is not somebody that's emotionally unavailable at all. This is somebody who's really done a lot of healing work. They've really worked on themselves. I feel like this man wants marriage. This man wants commitment. Like, I feel like this man, it feels ready for that. But it's like when he puts himself out there, he just doesn't find anything that's really compatible with him. I feel like this cycle is ending though. With the hermit here, it's like this cycle of like loneliness or being left in the dark. Maybe he had to go through like a period of isolation. I feel like he's going to meet his queen of cups kind of unexpectedly, especially with the ten of cups here. It's like, it's almost like he's been um, doing a lot of work like behind the scenes, like in the dark. And it's all just going to come to light really quickly is kind of the energy that I'm feeling here. Where it's almost like he's just been in this energy for a while. He's like, I'm, you know, I don't, like, I, I have a good job. I have a good career. I've, you know, I've done the healing work. Like, I'm, you know, I've, I've worked on my mental stability. Like, I've, I'm in a good place in my life. Like, this, this man has, you know, everything. He just doesn't have love in his life. And he might not have um, a lot of friends either. He might, you know, this is someone who feels kind of alone. But yeah, there might be some kind of karmic lesson here. Or there's some kind of karmic cycle that's that's ending here. And I feel like everything he's been manifesting, like this love that he's been manifesting, it's coming in quickly with the Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. It's like he might meet this woman and it's like they might get engaged like six months later or a year later. It might be one of those things that just happens really quick for him. Judgment, the star... Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups.
Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Okay, wow. I feel like they're going to evolve into becoming a power couple. Like, they're going to start off as a king and queen of cups, emotionally available, emotionally mature, grounded. But I think that I almost feel like they have a little bit of depression just from how alone they've both been. Like, they're both, you know, both these, this is like this person, this man's match. I feel like they've both done the healing work, but I feel like both this man and this woman have maybe been single for a long time. And for this energy group I'm picking up, like I said, it's not the same energy group I've been channeling. This is a different energy group. Like, I don't think there's been, like, I think this has been someone that just doesn't, there's there's nothing going on in their love life right now is the energy I'm feeling. Like, they're not, um, like, they're not really talking to anybody. They're not dealing with, like, an ex. It's, it's just, like, there's just kind of crickets, you know what I mean? Like, there's just not much going on. With judgment and the star, it, it's like I almost feel like their spirit guides are feeling like, hey, they're ready for this. They're ready for this love to finally come in. With the queen and king of wands, too, I think they're going to evolve into... It's like they start out as a queen and king of cups and then they evolve into kind of this power couple because I feel like they're going to be, it's, it's like they're going to be each other's support system in a lot of ways. They're going to really motivate each other. So it's like there's all, always this kind of loneliness in the back of this man's head and same for this woman. Like, am I ever going to find my person, you know? Like, am I ever going to have that kind of connection with somebody? This can be somebody that's like been single most of their life or they've been, um, you know, single for like many years now. Tell me about the, the two of pentacles and the four of cups. Yeah, because it's like they're going to evolve, but they're going to evolve together is what I'm seeing. You know, like this power couple energy where they're going to get it, it's kind of like she's going to inspire him to get excited about life again. And he's going to inspire her to get excited about life again, too. Like they're, you know, this this kind of passionate side of themselves that maybe they've neglected is is coming back up for both of them. Because, you know, love is very healing. Love love can kind of bring that energy back up. Tell me about the, the King of Swords and the Moon. The Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, too, and the Four of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Four of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The World. I feel like they've both been through a lot of disappointments in the past. Two of Pentacles could be like kind of like a, a juggling type of energy, like trying to juggle between two different things. And so I feel like both of them have kind of gotten to that point where maybe they don't. They're really focused on themselves. They're re they're really focused on their own healing on on a maybe on on school on work on other things like that they I think both of them kind of match each other in the sense that they've just kind of decided like hey I'm just I'm I don't want to deal with people it's just disappointing I feel like people have kind of used them kind of taken advantage of their their loyalty their integrity this king and queen of cups energy tell me about the the king of swords and the moon like lots of past disappointments or just you know maybe just being single for a long time for some too King of Swords, the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Tower. Tell me more about the Lovers and the Tower. The Magician, the Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, the King. 
king of pentacles the nine of pentacles the ace of pentacles I had to pause and look at it because it's such a strange energy, but it's it's almost like I feel like this man is being rewarded for doing the right thing for so long. I feel like he was consistently the king of cups. So this is he's not a pushover, but he's also not a very um how do I explain this energy? It's like he's very patient. Like this is like a man that's very loyal. Like this is a man that does not cheat. He has a very high level of honor, integrity, like he never cheats, he doesn't steal from anybody. He's very honest with people. He's very straightforward. He's the kind of guy that will just, you know, drop everything to um to to help people. To basically to to do the right thing. He's being rewarded for doing the right thing even when no one else is looking. Like this is the kind of man that will like give money to the homeless and he doesn't he doesn't need to film it. He doesn't need a reward for it. He'll just he'll do it because it feels like the right thing to do. You know. Like I said, this man that I'm picking up, he's a very good person. You know, not somebody that cheats, not somebody that manipulates people. I'm not getting any of that energy. I'm getting a, a very loyal. It, it's like he cares. He doesn't. He's not worried about what other people think. It's more. He's this man really isn't that concerned about other people's opinions. It's it's he has more of this mentality of like, well, I need to live with myself. I need to do the. I'm I'm going to do the right thing because it's the right thing. I'm not looking for a reward. I'm. I'm not looking for recognition. I, I don't care what other people think of me. I'm, I'm doing the right thing so that I feel good about myself, so that I can live with myself. I feel like this man is being rewarded for doing the right thing even when, when no one else was looking. You know what I mean? He didn't... Um, how do I explain this energy? It's like if he experienced loss in his life, he he wasn't bitter about it. And everyone gets bitter for the most part. But with this man, I really don't feel a lot of bitterness. I feel somebody that like, like he try. he's very, very empathetic. So somebody that tries to see the best in everybody. Somebody that tries to, you know, be understanding with people. Like, even if someone does betray them, he tries to forgive them and he tries to move on, on from it. Um, I feel like there was a, I feel like there was a truth that came out maybe about, like, somebody that was trying to control him. And it could be a Queen of Pentacles type, too. And it's like, with these cards I'm getting, it's almost like he wanted to build something with her, like... But she was kind of keeping him in the dark. Could be a family member or a friend, but it was almost like she was kind of keeping him in this, like, like it was like a battle and keeping him in this kind of, like, Eight of Swords energy. Um, this could be a woman that, like, played the victim a lot, too. She might have just kind of preyed on his, his sympathy, his empathy, like, kind of just drained him. Like, she knew that she could manipulate him to to get what she wanted out of him. It's kind of the energy I'm feeling. And I feel like, though, I feel like he just decided to be single and just be the King of Pentacles without her at some point. He's like, I want to offer this cup to somebody else. I don't want to offer it to this King of, this uh, Queen of Pentacles. I don't want anybody that's going to um, take advantage of my kindness. You know, kind people are not weak. They're just... You don't want to mess with kind people. I mean, they're, people that are like that are usually kind because they have that life experience, because they know how cruel life can be. So they don't want to put, they don't, they don't want to do unto others what's been done to them. But they're not naive. That's a, that's a common misconception. A lot of people think that people that are kind, that are loving, are just naive or they need to toughen up. And it's not that case at all. Like this man is, is you know, I, th I feel like he is experienced. I just feel like he chooses to be kind. And his person is a queen of cups here. I feel like he's already learned a karmic lesson, though, about... He might have had karmic debt to play, pay, and I'm almost getting this vibe of, like, he's given enough to other people. He's done enough for other people. Like, it's good to always, you know, it's good to help the homeless. It's good to do things for people. I'm not saying he should stop doing those things. But I almost get this energy of, like, a man that, like, had this karmic debt... And he still thinks, like, in his head, he doesn't realize that karmic cycle has ended. Like, he's paid that karmic debt, so he keeps trying to, like, balance out his karma by doing good and doing good and doing good. And it's almost like the universe is kind of asking him to step back and almost be a little bit more selfish with his energy in a way, you know? 
it's like he's put other people first for a really long time. Like, this is not a selfish man. This is a man that I just see a lot of, like, disappointments, but he always tries to see the best in everybody. Again, very loyal. I don't think this man has ever cheated on anybody. The, the kind of man I'm picking up on, I don't think he's ever cheated on anybody. If he did cheat, it was probably years and years and years ago. But he's probably, you know, gone through a lot with people, but he just, you know, again, he just... It, it's like he's tried to keep the faith and he's tried to be strong here. And I think he's being rewarded for his faith, for his, for doing the right thing when nobody else was looking. But, um, yeah, I feel like that karmic cycle of, of, of giving and giving and giving, it's almost like he, he gave to the wrong person and now he's, he's learning. It's like he's learned a lesson here. He's learned that, you know, it's good to give. It's good to be, you know, kind and, and helpful with people um, he has a very big heart. It's good to keep that energy up, but he also needs to be a little bit more selfish with his energy. He needs to protect his energy more. He needs to set boundaries, much stronger boundaries, not let people use him, not let people take advantage of his kindness, not let anybody see his kindness as weakness. And again, you don't need to, he doesn't need to like grow a thick skin or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he needs to keep being the kind man that he is but protecting himself at the same time. You can be kind and gentle and loving and still tell people no. You can be kind and gentle and loving and still be assertive and still be able to, you know, say, no, I'm not going to drop what I'm doing to come give you a ride somewhere. I'm not going to drop what I'm doing to come help you with this or that. Because it's almost like with like the King of Swords, it's almost like he has this suppressed King of Swords type where it's kind of like that, that side of him is like wanting to come out a little bit where that more assertive side of him is is wanting to come out and stand up for himself. I think he learned a karmic lesson with some kind of queen of pentacles here about, um, you know, giving too much to other people and, and not giving enough to himself, not taking good enough care of himself, not uh, it's kind of like a people pleaser energy where he really needs to think about his needs more, his feelings, his his desires. He needs to think about what's good for him and not always be worrying about other people. Yeah, and it looks like, you know, like I said, he has a Queen of Cups, and I think this Queen of Cups has been through very similar energy. They're matching each other. They're coming out as a King and Queen of Cups, and when they meet each other, I don't feel like this couple has met yet. I think that this man is kind of just, you know, they're both kind of tired of being single. I think when they meet each other, like I said, they're going to evolve into a queen and king of wands. So they're still passionate, emotional, but they're also very strong. They're in their power. So they have that balance between logic and emotion. You know, I think they both learn those, those karmic lessons. Um, let's see here. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. This love, this man, whatever you want to tell me. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah, because he's putting the burden down. He's he's putting, like I said, he's he's finally. It's almost like his mind is starting to realize that he's learned a karmic lesson. Like his soul has learned this karmic lesson and it's almost like his mind needed to catch up. It was like he was like repeating a past life cycle or he was like repeating, you know, like I was saying, it's like he had karmic debt he needed to pay and then he paid it off. He learned that lesson with this queen of pentacles. He learned that lesson about, you know, finding a way to be calm and, and gentle and loving and kind and helping people, but also not letting psychic vampire types use you and drain you, like helping the right people. People, helping people that are going to be grateful for your help, helping people that actually really need it, and also not giving too much of your own energy away, you know, making sure, like prioritizing self-care, um, putting himself first more often, really just taking better care of himself and setting stronger boundaries, you know, while still being his true self. And I feel like his, it's like his mind is catching up now. He's like, oh, that cycle is over. Like I didn't, you know, it's like he's going to have this realization, like he's going to kind of become aware. He might be spiritually open, too. So he might kind of become aware of this karmic cycle. And he's going to be like, oh, like this, like, cool, this karmic cycle is over. Like I, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a stronger person now. I'm, you know, I, I've, I've learned to set boundaries with people now. 
Chariot, why the Ten of Swords? Two of Swords. Five of Cups. The Sun. Yeah, there was a period of a lot of um, just being stabbed in the back, being used, being taken for granted, being seen as like the nice guy type that gets, you know, walked all over. People just kind of, you know, the kind of friends that will just call him and use him for, for a ride or a place to stay, but they don't really try to be in his life. I feel like he had to cut some of those friends out, some of those people out, because he saw that there was just betrayal, backstabbing. Five of Cups, you know, there was a period of pain and disappointment, but I think with the sun, it's like he's moving forward. He's seeing things. He's in a, he's in a better space because he's clearing those types of people out of his life. Yeah, he's walking away from anybody that just uses him. He's finding that balance. He's not letting, he's not letting people like that into his life anymore. So it's a really beautiful energy because, like I said, it's like he's learned how to be... Um, you know, strong and assertive and set those boundaries, but still keep being his true self. Like he didn't let life harden his heart. He didn't let these toxic people in his life make him cold or he didn't start, he didn't start matching their energy. You know, like if he had exes or friends that were using him, he didn't start using people in return. He didn't start, um, it's like if he had people that played games with him, he didn't just start playing games with people in return. You know what I mean? Like he, he has a very high level of integrity. He's like, I don't, you know, even if most of the people I've seen are like that, I'm not going to be like that. It's not about them. It's about me. I'm not that person. I'm not a cheater. I'm not, I'm never going to cheat. I don't care if every person I date cheats on me. I'm, I'm never going to cheat because that's not who I am. I'm not going to lie. I don't care if I'm surrounded by liars. I'm not going to lie because that's who I am. So I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like he's wrapping those cycles up with those people and cutting out a lot of people and, and moving forward. And I feel like that energy is, is clearing up so he can manifest people that will appreciate him, people that will match his energy and, and give to him the way he's been giving to so many other people. But, but yeah, it was a karmic lesson. It's like he had to learn to, to, you know, give to himself, to, to not just give and give and give to these psychic vampire types, not to make excuses for people I feel like he was very forgiving but it's like almost too forgiving where it's like somebody could like really screw him over and he'll try to take into account like what they went through in childhood and he's like well it's okay that person just wasn't for me moving on to the next one and then it's like he kept like attracting like the same type of people that would just kind of use him for for money for a place to stay for whatever else whatever they could get from him but yeah he's seeing through these people now and he's cutting them out he's not resonating with that energy anymore He's developing a genuine self-love and self-confidence. I almost feel like he might have been a people pleaser too because of his own insecurities. Like he might not have wanted to look at his own, um, it might be like a childhood wound or something where it's like he was wanting to give and give and give to these people because he was worried that, you know, they wouldn't love him for who he is or that he, it, it was like there was some kind of lack mentality there. But I, I think he's, I think his perspective on that is changing now. And he's like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not just going to keep giving to these ungrateful people. Like I am enough on my own without money, without, without a car, just on my own. I deserve people in my life that love me for the right reasons that just love me for who I really am. You know, so I think this man's perspective is really uh, changing here. Yeah, it's a really good energy. Tell me more about this. So it's like he had to learn. It's like he had to wrap up that karmic cycle before this Queen of Cups could come in. I think he had to like de de develop a genuine self love and not just be a people pleaser because I feel like, I feel like she is a Queen of Cups. Like I almost feel like he was subconsciously attracted to those type of people that would just use him and drain him. So he almost, it's almost like he had to hit rock bottom with these toxic friends and toxic exes to finally get to a point where he stands up for himself, where he stands in his own power. And he's like, you know what? No, I deserve more than this. Because if this Queen of Cups had come in beforehand, I don't think he would have resonated with her because I feel like she's, you know, she matches his energy. She's very kind. She's very loving. She's very loyal, too. 
And I almost feel like this was like the kind of guy that was like not used to that. He's used to dramatic women. He's used to toxic women. He's used to people that just want to use him again and again and again. And especially with his Queen of Pentacles, that was someone that was a woman in his life, whether it was family, friend or a lover that he had to learn a very serious lesson with about, you know, not being used by psychic vampire types and really standing up for himself. And I think he's being rewarded because he was brave enough to cut her out and be single, even if he didn't have anybody, if he was completely alone. He's like, screw it. I'll be alone. It's better than I like. It's, it's like he finally put his foot down. He was finally like, I've had enough of people like this in my life. I'm done. I'm like, I don't care if that's the only woman that I have in my life. I'm cutting her out. I'm, I'll, I'll just be alone if I have to until I find someone that has the integrity and loyalty and, and emotional depth that I have that can match me. Um, and so I think this is why this Queen of Cups couldn't come in before, because like I said, it's like he was a people pleaser. So he was kind of resonating with those people that would just use him and use him and use him. And he was repeating that cycle from from childhood, from past lives, maybe maybe a mix of both, you know, karmic cycles, past life cycles, subconscious cycles and patterns. And and um yeah, it just it wouldn't really have um he wouldn't he wouldn't have resonated with her. I almost feel like he might not have been like like he might I feel like she's matching his energy too too in it to in a in a degree too as well. I think she's um well no I think hmm I honestly think this woman probably developed self-love a long time before this man did, to be honest, this Queen of Cups, I'm feeling. So maybe not fully. She's matching his energy in the sense that they're both very loyal and very loving, but I almost feel like she's been attracted to good people to, for a long time. Like, she's... she. I don't think she had that same pattern of, like, having to be with, like, toxic people that this man had, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um... Maybe, maybe a long time ago, but I'm not really getting a strong energy from that for this energy group. But um, at least not for most of them. But yeah, I don't think he would have been like drawn to her. I think he would have been like, oh, this is like too easy. Or it's almost like he needed to like do things for other people. Otherwise, he didn't feel good about himself or he didn't like know what to do with himself. And I don't think she would have resonated with that either. I think she would have been like, oh, like, I'm like, I'm good. I don't like, like, he would have been trying to like give her money and like, you know, drive her everywhere. And she would have been, I think she's more independent where she's, she would have just been like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't, I don't need money from you. I don't need a place to stay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this woman, this queen of cups I'm channeling is very independent. So, and like I said, he might not have been attracted to her completely either. Like he wouldn't, it just would have been like an unfamiliar energy. But since he wrapped this karmic cycle up, it's like he's, he's learned self-love. So he's, he is resonating with his queen of cups now. So she is able to come in now because they're, they're at a point now where he's a vibrational match for her. He's leveled up. And so he's, he's going to be more open to her. He's going to understand her energy more. Whereas in the past, maybe he wouldn't have. see yeah I think it was hard I think it gave him anxiety to let these people go but I think he was like I'm not holding on to this anymore like I'm he might have cut several people out of his life at once like he might have just cut everybody out and just been like screw it like I'll I'll be alone whatever like I'm I'm not going to be with people that aren't loyal like I am Okay, anything else we want to say to wrap this up about this, um, for this energy group? Death. Yeah, there's like a transformation here. There's, he's, in, no more confrontation. Yeah, he's got this new start with his queen of, uh, queen of cups. They could both be water signs as well, or they could both have very heavy water, a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their charts. There's a lot of water energy here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I feel like this woman might be like, um, I'm seeing for someone, she's like a counselor, like, like, a, like an actual counselor. Like she works in like a, like a clinic or something. Like she works like behavioral health, um, 
very empathetic, but like I said, I think that she learned these karmic lessons way before he did. I think that he's, it, it's almost like she's kind of ahead of him and he's catching up to her now. Even though they haven't, I don't, I don't think this couple has met in person yet. This is not the new love reading, by the way. I know I've been telling you guys I want to do a, a new love reading for those of you that are in that energy group that are, you know, dealing with someone from your past and you're not, you're at a crossroads. You're not sure if this person's going to get on board with you or not, or if someone new is coming in. That's a different energy group. I'm not feeling like this is, I'm not feeling like this is connected to that. <clears throat> I mean, I guess for someone it could be like, if you're feeling like it's your story, then go for it. But for most, I don't, I don't feel like this is the new love reading. I'm not getting, um, cause I've already channeled a little bit for that energy group about what the new love is going to be like, like his personality traits and whatnot. And I'm not feeling the same energy with this King of Cups. This is the different man that, that I'm feeling. So anyway, let's see. Do you want to tell me about this relationship, this queen and king of cups, or just tell me anything about them? And I keep getting like she's like, she might be a counselor. She might be, um, hmm. she's very independent. She's almost more like a, how do I explain it? Because I'm kind of seeing a woman that's like old or like in her, not like old, like like maybe like in her 40s or something. That's, I mean, that's not old, but I'm, I'm just, it's like, I feel like she might be older than him. Like, I feel like this man might be a little bit younger than her. Um, hmm. I think she really values her career, whatever this woman does. Like, I think she does something where she's helping people. Like, she's... um. Like she's like a counselor or like a physical therapist or like like a psychologist or she's um like I'm I'm hearing for some like she might work with like autistic children or something like that. Like I'm I'm getting like the energy of like somebody that she's I, f I feel like she's um like she does something where she like works with people like mentally or physically. And she's very serious about her job. Like I feel like her job is like a top priority for her. Um, for most of these people in this energy group. And that's not, you know, don't discard someone just because they don't fit that description, but I'm getting that for, like, most of you. I feel like that's that's kind of the person that I'm picking up is, like, a queen of cups, but she's very, um, very independent. I feel like almost like she doesn't... I almost feel like this woman doesn't like being taken care of. I don't know. She almost feels like she's... Like, she's very, like, almost motherly, where she... Um, Maybe she doesn't, like, need to be taken care of. Like, I almost feel like she's very stable. Like, she doesn't have a lot of... Ang like, this woman I'm channeling doesn't really have a lot of anxiety. She doesn't have a lot of depression. Um, She feels pretty... Uh, like, she's sad. She's happy being alone. She's she's very... Like, she has a fulfilling life is what I'm, feel is what I'm saying. Like, she's... um. Like, just very independent where it, it, it's almost like she's she's not going to... She's not going to need anything from this man. And I almost feel like it needed to be that way because it's like he needs to give to himself for a change. So she's almost going to be helping him with that in a way, too. She's going to help him, like, kind of... Like, she's going to rub off on him a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, she's more selfish with her energy, I guess. Yeah, kind of just what we were saying. It's like she's, um... Queen of Swords and the Emperor. She's going to teach him to be more independent as well, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like they're going to have stability together. But like I said, it's not going to be something he's familiar with. He's going to be used to people that like really um, like use him for things, use him for money, use him for, you know, wh whatever else. Um, and she's just going to be like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't I don't want to ha say that she ha doesn't have a strong feminine side, but I almost get like a how do I explain this energy like a. Like, very independent. She really doesn't really feel like she needs anybody. Like I said, I, I don't get the energy of, like, anxiety or depression or anything like that from this woman. I really get the energy where she's very, 
like she's really just happy on her own and that's a really rare energy to channel you know most people it's like people it's human nature to like need people to need love maybe she has like a strong family support system or like maybe she comes from like a really healthy stable family is what I might be feeling is like maybe she comes from like like she has a really good relationship with her parents maybe she has like brothers and sisters so it might be one of those things where it's like she already has her support system so if someone treats her wrong she's quick to cut them off like she's not she she knows what she deserves you know what I mean she already has a, she has a lot of uh, close friends or family she has a strong support system so she doesn't really like like um she just doesn't feel like she like needs anybody you know what I mean like she doesn't need anybody else outside of that nine of cups why the devil knight of wands page of cups This man might have, like, a very strong sexual attraction, like, almost, like, obsession for her when he first meets her. Like, he's not going to be used to her energy, and it's going to kind of weird him out at first, but he's going to, like, as he gets to know her, he's going to be, like, like, he's going to want to, he's going to be intimidated by her, but I think he's going to come through with this offer anyway. Um, but, yeah, she's not going to be his usual type at all. I think this woman is going to be someone that's very, uh, just very different than what, what he's used to. Yeah, because I get, it's really weird because, like, I usually don't pick up on the energy that are, like, that mentally healthy. Like, it's so, I know it sounds strange, but it's like, you know, I'm, you know, most people aren't mentally stable. Like, I'm not mentally stable. Like, most other people aren't mentally stable completely. Like, it's a very rare thing, honestly, especially in today's society. Like, most people deal with depression or anxiety at the very least, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've almost, I'm like one of those people that almost thinks that like true mental stability is like, you know, almost like a myth. It's like life is messy. Humans are messy. It's really, you know, it, it's really hard to just be completely stable in today's society. But I'm honestly getting the energy of like a woman where it's like she didn't go through a lot of child, like very little to no childhood abuse. Like she had a really good childhood. She had a good upbringing. She had a very good, um, like, she has a really good father or a good mother, like, a really strong support system. Um, like, just because it's, it's so weird, but, like, tapping into her energy, I just don't, I don't get any, like, kind of mental illness or depression, anxiety, I don't get any of that. It's, like, how is, in today's world, it's, like, how do you even do that? It's, like, it's, it's weird tapping into that energy because I'm, like, how is that even, like, a thing? But it, it's almost, like, yeah, like, I think that she... I, I almost just feel like she just she had the support maybe she's like a really good person so she just had really good karma this lifetime where she didn't really have to go through a lot this lifetime you know she might have been born into like a very like wealthy family so she didn't really have to want for anything I feel like she probably went to school for like you know um some kind of physical or mental behavior uh like some kind of therapy or just like something to like help others like I feel like she has just a very stable, strong foundation is what I'm feeling. Like, I feel like her school was paid for maybe by, um, like, I just, I don't get that she's had to struggle a lot in her life. But she's still, she's not like a shallow person or anything. I just, I just get the energy of someone that like, just a, just a very strong person, just a very independent person. I feel like it could also be that maybe she had a really good relationship with like like her father like she didn't have those like father issues that like a lot of women you know end up having so when she got older and she dated like because like I do think she has life experience but I almost feel like she was probably like attracted to really good men like her whole life you know what I mean like I think when she got older and she dated I feel like she um I get this energy of like like, she had that strong base, so she was really quick to be, like, if, if she saw any red flags, she was out. She wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, anything, anything, if it, she, she expects princess treatment. You know, if you don't treat this woman right, she's, she, she's, she's fine letting you go. She doesn't care. <laughs> like, but I think she's going to, even though she's a little bit stronger than this man is, I think that she's going to see how big his heart is, and I think she's going to fall in love with him because of that. Um, and I think that she's going to kind of rub off on him and kind of, you know, teach him. I think he's going to learn a lot from her, basically. You know what I mean? Like, she's going to really teach him independence. Um, 
And they might even both be wanting children is what I'm feeling too. Or she might even have children from like a previous marriage or something like that. But, but yeah, I feel like... I feel like he'll be turned on by just how different he she is than anyone that he's ever dealt with. And I think... It's almost like her standards are too high. Like, I really think that this woman's, like, father, like, spoiled her. Like, treated her like a princess when she was growing up. Because it's almost like she has, like, very high standards. So it's, it's almost like with this man, he's a good man. But I almost feel like she wouldn't normally be patient with somebody who is a work in progress. Usually she wants somebody who just already has everything together. But with this man, I think she's, like I said, I think she's going to see how big his heart is. She's going to see that he's loyal She's she's going to see the potential in him. She's going to see that he's a really good person. She's going to see that he's um just that just that he's very loving. There's going to be uh it's almost going to be a lesson for her too not to be so hard on people, not to be so quick to dismiss people if they're not what she expects them to be. That's something that she needs to learn too to be like more open with other people. Um so it's like they're both going to learn a lot from each other, I feel. But yeah, it's really interesting energy. It's like... Hmm. Why the Three of Swords? Yeah, like I was saying, she's very quick to be done with anybody that's been sneaky with her. That could be partially why she's very, um, like, if she's dealt with that in the past, she might. Like, I think she just knows what she, she deserves, so she's been very quick to cut people out in the past. But I think, you know, like I said, with this man, it's like she's going to see that he's a good person, so... She could have even been with, like, other people to the, to the point where she's just, like enjoying being single like she's kind of just like prioritizing herself and like her kid if she has a kid um that kind of thing but I think because I'm it's, it's really weird because she's like coming out of as a queen of cups but I'm not getting like the traditional soft loving romantic energy that you would get from a queen of cups but I think that that energy is there deep down you know like I said I think she has like she knows what she deserves um I think she just really prioritizes herself. So it's like one of those things where you have to really add value to this woman's life or she won't even notice you. Like you you really have to come forward correctly. And in money, material things, all of that, she she's not gonna she doesn't care about that and it's not gonna do anything for her. Um she's she wants authenticity. Like she's not gonna resonate with that. I think she's really smart, too. So I think she's really... It's almost like if you try to... How to explain this? Like, she knows what she deserves, and it's almost like if you... How do I explain this energy that I'm channeling? It's kind of like if you if you don't come forward correctly, she can be really quick to just be a little bit too submiss too, too dismissive when she needs to open our heart a little bit more. I think, like, she's probably been like that for a while. But I do think this is somebody that was probably, like, married or they were with someone for a long time. And so they're just kind of at a point where they they, they might want love to some degree. But she's... I don't think she's expecting it, actually. I think you're the one that's... I think the King of Cups is the one that's more, like, looking for love, like, ready for marriage. I think this woman is going to be kind of caught off guard. I think she's going to be just kind of enjoying being single. And then she's going to meet this man. And she's going to be like, oh, wow, there's, like, a lot of potential here. I guess I'll give this a chance. But, um, yeah, I just get something like where it's like, if you do like the people pleasing thing with her, like if you try to like, if you try to offer her things that she doesn't need, it's almost like going to be a turn off for her. You know what I mean? It's almost like, I don't want money from you. Like that's like, she's just so independent that she's almost going to be like, why would I want money? Like I got my own money. Like, I think she has a really good paying job. Like, I think this woman makes, like, at least, like, four or five thousand or more a month. Like, I think this woman is, like, you know, there might be, like, a, 
a power struggle to a degree because she's used to being kind of like the the alpha, the daddy in the relationships. Um, and and she's it, it's like she might she she likes to run things. She's she's a little she's got some control issues. <laughs> kind of what I'm feeling a little bit. She has it has set ways that she likes to run things, but I think you guys are both going to be teaching each other these kind of lessons. So anyway, I hope this resonates with someone. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Please like and comment if it resonates. Even just leave a heart comment or just like the video. Thank you.